morning guys. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to make a queen mackerel or Nutella snook trace. Um, there's lots of different versions and different ways to make a Nutella snook trace. Um, if you find the best guys, they catch a lot of snook consistently. They have one thing in common is that their trace is neat and it swims straight. Um, as I said, there's lots of ways to, to achieve that. I'm just going to show you my version of the trace. So basically I'm going to cut a a short piece of number six wire. Um, I'm going to use a number 34007 uh, mustard stainless steel hook. Um, you can use saltwater fly hooks, you can use uh, the tarpon hooks. The reason why I like this hook is it's not offset, it's nice and straight. I think the offset hooks can have a bit of an action on the, on the bait. So I prefer to use a straight gauge hook. Um, I think it just gives it a better action in the water. Okay, I'm just going to tie a standard hair wire twist. You can see it on the back of the, of the packaging for the American fishing wire. Okay, some guys do stiff rig it. Um, personally, I don't think it's necessary, but uh, it, does, it is one of the versions that the guys do make is a stiff rig, so they just stiff rig the hook so the hook is can't, can't pivot, it's, it's stiff. Then I put a power saw. Um, I do believe this power saw is very important. As you'll see in another video, I actually use the power saw to bind the fillet onto so it doesn't slide down the trace. Doing another haywire twist. Okay, this bite wire is only about three or four centimeters long. That's very important because that's about the length of the fillet that I'm going to tie onto this trace. Um, for, for small snook, um, around Blue Lagoon and Durban Beachfronts and Omkamas, places like that, that's more than enough. You can actually tie your, your leader line straight onto the swivel and slide your skirt or your duster or your mini eye over your trace and, and that's good enough. Um, in places where there's bigger snook or you might hook a cooter, it's important to put a bite trace on the front. So I'm gonna, for this demonstration I'm going to show you with a bite trace. Some guys use lighter wire, so they'll use number 3 or number 4 wire. I'm using number 6. I don't find there too much of an issue with number 6 or number 5 wire straight through. And then I slide the, the mini eye or skirt or duster over the you see that actually just creates the makes the fillet hydrodynamic so when you pull it fast through the water it doesn't spin um, I have actually just caught snook and tuna um, on just this trace as is so without a strip bait on it so you can pull it as is but obviously by putting bait on it it does become more effective and then I'm finishing it off with just another power saw at the top end There we go, that's my trace. So, there's my bite trace. It also stops the, the skirt from sliding too far down. And my bite trace at the top. You can also buy commercially tied ones. So, at your leading tackle stores. And that's it, that's my queen mackerel Nutella snook trace.